Hello, my friend. My name is Irina Bjorna, and today I present for you a very interesting webinar, which I call Secrets of Energy Diet 816. And it's today on the first part of this presentation. And what I would like to say that if you would like to look later in this uh, presentation, so you can come in, in the homepage with called Energy Diet, Decay. And you can see now it's a home page when you can learn much more about my diet aspects. And of course, to make the sense, for example, to understand what is your energy index, how you calculate this. And it's a good instruction how to make your personal diet plan. So far, so good. Number two, it's a bell books. Uh, I create something which I call bell books, books for easy living. And all of the materials what I present today will be in these books. And you can see the shop, of course. And just now in the shop about 16 books. That it comes now in this. So my, the most of my books in the Amazon. So the best way to buy these books is just go to Amazon and see. Uh, be careful because some books only in Russian, some books in Danish and some books in English. So check your language and just be the butt of bill books. And the new things, what I did, it's called Endor. Ender, it comes from the word it's called endorsement. And I make the screensaver. Now it's in fact here the some of the examples in two languages in English and in Russian. Why it's working? Because I'm the therapist and I for you the best affirmata which you can look every day on. So you can you can put in your computer beautiful, young, attractive, and it will help you to achieve your goals. And we go to our lecture. This is me, Irina Bjorna, creator of Bell Books, Books for Easy Living, as you saw this in your screen. And this is it among the different degree and diploma what I have during my life. I'm the full certificate of the Master of NLP and hypnotherapist and uh, specialist in acupuncture and Chinese medicine uh, and uh, a lot of more. And here it's a presentation my in the press. It's Danish press, English press and in Russian press. And many, many years ago I was chosen as a face of Russia. But now about our plan. What we talk today is and what is your hidden resources? What is the law of decreasing energy? Why you need to eat every day and why the energy decreases during your life? We talk about the food today because it's only first lecture and food as a part of your life. Why it is the source of energy? We will talk a little bit about sleep and mystery and reality. What is, is it necessary to sleep? We talk a little bit about the fresh air as a source of life because also I teach the yoga exercises for breathing. It's a diploma from the breathing therapy and I was the uh, pupil of Stanislav Grof. Not himself, but his uh, associate who worked with him many, many years. And we talk about the sex, very interesting way of the gain or to lose energy. What is about the sex? And we talk about the sport. Why, if it's fix of endorphin, it's so much enjoyable for your body. And uh, impressions that sometimes life, new impressions, it's also source of energy. We talk about emotions as a source of energy. And we talk about how to fill up your energy depot, depots and stay healthy all of your life. 
it's about practical exercise. Not all, all of this plan we put in this lecture. This lecture concentrates the most about the diet, but only some of the aspects. But in the future, we will cover all of this. Next. What I tell that God create your body perfect. You can see this child, he is perfect. And baby is perfect creation. Look at this smile, look at these eyes. Everything is here. But because of your own rules of life, it look like this. That people overeat, people start to be heavy. And this is what I observe in United States, for example. People who is far from this creation, beauty from England, yeah, you can see yourself. But on the other hand, exist people who is very healthy. Here it's a guy who is 100 years old and see how he is, what he is doing. This is two ladies what I met in Italy, 103 years old. And this is old nun who is teaching class in uh, Catholic school in Africa. She is 93. Amazing. So why it went wrong for the most of the people who has diabetes, who has obesity? And because the most of the people misunderstood the concept that food not only one source of energy. For example, our soul which is part of our nerve system also, should have also some, I call this vitamins, for example, kiss, smile, positive emotion. And this is also a source of energy. Even if you have a food, but you not complete you in other part, as I say, the nervous system part, need some not physical food. So you will be sick. So next, body have several energy sources. It's like a power station. Food is the main source is what people are known. Next, it's a air. Very important source of energy. If your air are polluted around you, so doesn't matter what kind of food it will be, you will be sick anyway because air breathing is very, very important. You, you breathe from your first moment up to your last moment. Sleep rest it's very important people who sleep not enough who has stress and build this stress in the body of course these people have the trouble with the weight have the trouble with the health health and generally they are not healthy movement we are built to move about all of the time when you start to move less or be less flexible, it means you are old. So remember this guy, Danish guy, who stay in his uh, yoga stand. So he is 100 years old. Positive experience, very important source of energy. I, uh, I say this positive. Negative experience, decrease the energy. Positive ex experience, easy. connection, love, very important. If you have everything food air sleep movement positive experience but have no love in your life you will be sick sex sex it's a uh, i put this separate but it's a part of the movement it's some integral between the positive experience connection and movement together we call this sex it's very important also it's called inner factors for example you genetic history very important now science cell that your cells remember what was in five generation before you it means that it takes five generation to change the habits so we are built if you are chinese and live five generation in china so probably the most uh, desirable food for your body will be chinese food if you are american who is only maybe four generations from Europe, from England or from Holland. So the most probable you diet should be the same like European diet. We talk about this later. Daily meals, it's very important in a factor, which is influence on your body energy. Habits, smoking and alcohol decrease the energy of your body. Training and sport. 
Also, it's a very important factor which is influenced on your level of energy, sex habits and personal rules. Some people sleep too much or sleep to 10 o'clock in the morning. Some sleep, some people can work all of the night. So your personal uh, routines, uh, I will say you should be very careful about this and not suppress if you suppress your own inner signals, so it will be stress situation. And we go to the outer factor. As I told you, working relation and connection, so-called social relation, very important. If you are not satisfied with your work, if you envy all of this at this time or suppress your feelings in the your working place, so your energy of your body will be decreased and in one moment maybe you will be sick. Family situation, very important. If you have no love in the family, be sure you will be sick. Nature, climate and place of living. Your comfort situation, very important. So if your body is uh, every day access some hazard situation, hard conditions, so you will be sick one day. So if you have too much exercises, it's also bad. If you have too much sex, it's also bad. The secret of happy and healthy life is a balance. So we go back. We go back to the diets. And uh, you can see that what I say that our genes tell us a little bit how we should eat. If you are European people, so you need to eat European. But what's going on just now? This is a typical British family. What see what they eat. They eat a little bit fruits. They eat a lot of milk products. It's a lot of uh, grain products they eat uh, and maybe a little bit uh, meat and uh, poultry. If we look at the diet of the Chinese family, you see that it's very old lady, more than 100 years old. So it's much more fruits and vegetables. You can see not so much milk product and not so much cola, but, but beer is there. So next, it's a diet of African family. It's a lot of grain and a little bit vegetables. But you see people very thin and rather happy. Is it possible to live long life and without any illness? What I say, answer is yes. All is possible if you respect the law of balance. Nothing should be too much and nothing should be too little. You need respect your balance in the body. See, and you, you should remember that I say that the first rule of my diet, it's a living food, fresh food. It's food which is not processed. It means that if you eat fresh vegetables, fresh fruits and non-processed food, at least your balance will be much better in your body. I will say the only one way to balance the energy in your body, it's to learn from learning about your body, from learning about your special features. And it should be from your childhood. And uh, I write a lot of books. It's called Books for Easy Living, Bell Books. And what I say that if you not make this knowledge available for your children, so one day it will be again hazard situation and then they will be in situation that they are sick. That is why. What I say, Bill Books on Amazon will help you to find the right answer for diet, energy, exercises, a rel a relaxed uh, strategy and lifestyle. This book is easy, useful and affordable. Just buy them. Food is the same like a sun energy. I repeat the same that. Food is equivalent to the sun energy. In fact, we eat not food. We eat electromagnetic energy. What we need in our cells is electromagnetic energy, which is transferred via biochemical processes to the energy. So it means that plants who close to sun absorb electromagnetic energy and they accumulate in this. If you eat plants, it means that the, the way between energy and um, sun, uh, between the energy source is the sun, and plants will be not so big. 
But if you eat meat, cow eat the grass. It means that cow accumulate the energies through the grass and not direct from the sun. We are far from the sun now. Now we are in food processing plants. So they take cow meat and process this. It means that they decrease the amount of living energy much more. So, but we eat the food anyway. We not just uh, go to the sunshine and take the sun. But it is, exists, in fact, some people. It's called sun gazing. It's a big society of the people who tell that if you gaze on the sun at least 20 minutes per day, so you reduce the amount of your food. But food means a lot for the people. What means food? It's a, first of all, it's emotion. So when we eat food, so it's something happens in our body, so we feel happy. That is why sometimes also food is even uh, make the erotical connection. So food is all, all have the magic aspects. It's what is church is using. You church using food a lot to manipulate with the conscious of the people. For example, in a Jewish religion, it exists three, 613 rules. What kind of food, why, when you should eat, in what combination, the same exists in Muslim religion. So uh, Christian religion tell that it should be special day when you eat only, for example, fish, or you have the day for the, for the rest from the food. It's a period for 40 days fasting. And when we talk about the food, we should distinguish between two things. It's uh, that to be hungry, it's a natural thing. But to have a good appetite, it's a learning thing. And when we insist that a child should eat several times per day, and uh, for example, breast the child six times per day when the child not not hungry, so we increase their appetite. So we learn them to eat much more. So what I say that appetite is artificial. It's the same is valid for sex. So if you not use sex as a natural way of connection, so this start to be artificial. As this rose, this rose, it's uh, some of the artists, he paint this, but it's artificial and it can't connect with the real, real uh, flowers because it's much more beautiful. Again, I tell that hungry is natural to be hungry and to have appetite is unnatural. That I would like to say and I repeat this in the next lecture again that the life has restricted capacities. Again, I repeat this, the life has restricted capacities. So it means that as you, for example, when you buy the electrical bulb in the shop, so this bulb maybe will light for 10,000 10, hours and then it will be over. Something is broken. The same our stomach have the capacity. It's called digestion capacity. No body, in fact, uh, pay attention about this. But in my practice, what I say, that it's the most important. It's a key of the energy diet. We can average, what I say, average. We can digest 50 million kilocalories for the whole life. It means that if we divided this for 365 days, so we say for one year we can digest 2,000 kilocalories per day, what is um, uh, American diets tell also. And it means that average your life will be only 68.4 years, not more. 68.4 years in average. But if you decrease your diet for only 1,000 kilocalories per day, so you will increase your living time two times. It means 160, uh, 136 years or 37 years old. Think hard now. This is your stomach. And this is system like a washing machine. So washing machine have capacity, your stomach have capacity. You can use your capacity in 
60 years, it means you eat a lot every day. And then one day your stomach will not digest food anymore. Doesn't matter what kind of food you will use. Special food or um, good food, bad food. So you will stomach will not work anymore. You will die. So otherwise you can increase your capacity if you decrease the amount of food you eat every day. It's theory which is against everything. What is this 2000 kilocalorie per day? What is coming from? It's coming from 1914 special guys from Germany, which they say if you work very hard physically. And this example for the worker who is work uh, in the railway to build railway. So it's a very heavy work and it was about 12 hours per day work. So such kind of men should eat 2000 kilocalorie per day. Are you such men or are you sitting in the computer the most of the day? Maybe uh, go for a walk sometime, maybe uh, making some exercises for 40 minutes, but you not work physically for, for 12 hours per day. It means that your diet should be much lighter. And this was experiment uh, which is from the Danish newspaper, but it was produced in the United States. It's a two apes and one ape was living for 800 calories per day and another ape was living for 450 calories per day. And you can see 450 calories per day to the left, this ape, much more younger. She is not so, she, she was very sexy and uh, she was very good in the different kind of reaction and uh, she was not sick any time. Her lifetime was two times more than this who was eating 800 calories. And what I say, it will be bell. So bell books, books for easy living. So think about this, think about that you can eat the living things in your life and in such way you will be much more safer and better. See you next time. Irina Bjorna. And to the to, to finish, I would like to uh, to thank everybody who, who attend our seminar and just look at my products, look at the energy diet, look at the my books online. And it thinks what just happened to you. And think how long time you would like to live in this planet. And I say you. Eat well, be well. See you next time. Bye.